Welcome back. My name is Patrick, and this is the Oilers Rundown. Ryan Rashog of TSN revealed the following this morning. My sense is that the Oilers are waiting on an answer from Jake Vertanen about a PTO offer. Several other teams in the mix as well. Could see an additional PTO extended to another forward as well. Another PTO possibility that we heard recently from Daniel Nugent Bowman of The Athletic was right winger Riley Nash. Oilers continuing to pursue all trade options for Jesse Pugliarvi. The most obvious move to clear out some cap space. If it doesn't happen, they can still start with what they've got, but it'll be a razor-thin margin budget-wise and could cause issues later in the season. Don't believe Tyson Berry is a likely trade option at this point. They'll start the year with what they have on the blue line, see how it goes. Pairings feel up in the air as well. May take shape through camp. Don't sense a PTO coming on defense. Jesse Pugliarvi to Anaheim has been brought up before, and I think there is potentially a fit there. Bob Stoffer of Oilers now has brought up Jesse to Anaheim several times, including today, as a move that makes sense. The Anaheim Ducks were in on Evan Rodriguez, who signed with the Colorado Avalanche today for $2 million on a one-year deal. Rodriguez at $2 million, or Pugliarvi at $3 million, on a one-year deal, isn't much of a leap. Let's see what happens there. As far as Jake Furtana goes, I would think the Oilers represent one of the better opportunities he's being offered. I imagine we know one way or another what's happening in the next couple days. If the Oilers do move Pugliarvi and Vertanen ends up coming in, I would set up right wing like this. On my first line, Zach Hyman. Second line, Kyler Yamamoto. Third line, Jake Vertanen. And on the fourth line, Derek Ryan, Devin Shore, or possibly another PTO signing. But let's see what happens. There could be more options than we anticipate right now. The Oilers gave us our first viewing of Jack Campbell's goalie mask today on social media. It's another iconic look. Can't wait to see Campbell fully decked out in Oilers gear. Meeting with the media today, here's a clip of Connor looking back at what happened in 2017 after the Oilers' previous successful playoff run. Really get things going. What lessons do you take out of 2017 when you guys were in a similar position? I thought you were going to take a step forward mm-hmm. and kind of fell off. But... Yeah, no, obviously that's a, that's a big lesson. Um, you know, it's something that uh, we can learn from. See a little bit of a similar situation uh, this year um, as, 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 as the, the following season after that run. So, um, you know, you can't, uh, you can't take anything for granted. A repeat of 2017 simply can't happen for this team, and it shouldn't happen. It's not a perfect roster, but it's far better position now for sustained success. One month today until the season opener. It's been our shortest summer in a while, but it has definitely felt like the longest. Well, that's all for now. It looks like Jake Vertanen is the top target for the Edmonton Oilers right now. Just waiting on an answer from him. Like I said, we heard Riley Nash's name as well. Is there going to be other surprise names that we haven't heard yet? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon.